God bless Tommy Robertson, because he has got the knowledge there and he understands that he's, he's had enough and same with the people, he's speaking to the people's heart. Is he Scottish or is he Islam? They don't want you to feel English, they want you to be multicultural and have no identity at all. What's your favourite thing about being English? Freedom and liberty. I'm just glad my granddad's dead. So, the UK has decided to finally stop being the silent majority and stand up for their country and their country's values. Let's give them a round of applause. So there was a big rally or a march that I believe was led by Tony Robinson that was famously jailed for saying what he said. I don't know that much about Tony Robinson, so maybe he has a lot of toxic or problematic behaviors or things he says. All I know is that he was kind of leading this march where people were standing against radical Islam or feeling like Islam or Sharia law was taking over their country, was taking over their culture, and was taking over their values. <laughs> We got uh, obviously Lawrence Fox there. We've got uh, Tommy Robinson also leading. Uh, I'm supposed to be technically there, but I thought I will do a live stream for you guys. Uh, for those of you who can't make it to London uh, today, uh, I'm going to show you what's going on. Let me show you this because uh, you can see uh, St George's flags, of course, Union flags, of course, but also over there at the end you can see Iranian flags. The Iranian patriots have also joined. We also got the Jewish community. We got people from Wales, Scotland, England, everywhere, who have. Uh, decided to unite to promote the values of our kingdom, ladies and gentlemen. There was a demonstration in London at the weekend to protest against the two-tier policing evident in London, where anti-Israel mobs are allowed to desecrate war memorials and chant for jihad, but British people celebrating St George's Day get kettled, beaten up and arrested. My friend Andy was on the march, he's gay and an ethnic minority, he said he felt very welcome and it was a diverse and good-natured crowd just out to celebrate British values, in particular fairness and equality. Well let's see how the papers described it. It was described as a rally by the socialist worker. Yeah, because the Nazis were really big on Union Jacks in Israel. That's probably their two favourite things right there. The country that defeated them and Jews. And you know, hate towards Islam, I just think that is not compatible with Western values. If you want to move to the West, then embrace Western values. If you don't like Western values, then stay in your country and embrace your country and embrace your values. I travel a lot. I know I've said this many times, but when I travel, I don't just go around going, I'm an American and I can do and say however I wish. I can behave how I wish. No, I assimilate within the culture of the country that I'm in to a certain degree. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't completely convert but if I'm in a country that's modest I dress more modestly if I'm in a country where people don't really drink alcohol then I don't drink alcohol not that I really do anyway you know what I mean I try to assimilate within the country I am to be respectful to the culture that I'm surrounded by because I'm the one who fucking chose to go there right so I don't understand why people think that it's going to be different if you go to the west and then decide like I don't want to really assimilate to western values that doesn't mean you have to completely give up your identity but you like again this is the west you have to you can't force your values that's not compatible with the West onto the West. So while the UK has decided to stand up for their country and their culture and their values, America on the other hand is decided to completely embrace radical Islam because they're scared of Jewish people being too successful. Did you guys see that Al Qaeda just thanked you guys? They thanked all the college protesters and everything. Houthis, Hezbollah, Hamas. Does that make you happy? Uh huh, yeah. Of course, we're supported. It makes me feel like there's actually some kind of hope. For a hundred bucks, who was the terrorist group behind 9 11? No clue. ISIS. Mm. Al Qaeda. But you think that 9 11 had some justification? Good in some ways. Wow. You know what uh, the number one slogan that the Iranian government chants is? Death to America. Honestly, like, I kind of don't blame them. <laughs> really? America is the cancer. America, the American government, secularism, democracy, capitalism, these are cancers in America over here. People have the freedom to, again, like I said before, commit zina, do all is fahisha, but when you speak up, it's a problem. Non-Muslims are tired of this cancer. They're tired of the American government. They're tired of democracy. They want to see a new way of life. Hey, <laughs> 
Congratulations, America. You done fucked yourself. Again. That's all I have to say about that quick little video. I just wanted to, you know, give a shout out. Shout out to the UK for, for doing some things right. Not only that, they're shutting down gender affirming clinics. They're, they're getting men out of women's sports. The UK, the UK is doing some things right. And so um, America might want to take some P's and Q's from them and actually pay attention to the more dangerous ideology. That might be, that might be a start. That might be a start. Anyway, again, no hate to people who are Muslim. I have Muslim friends. I've been to Muslim countries. I've always been really ex uh, accepted in those countries and treated really well. However, when it comes to an ideology, it's just not an ideology that I choose to accept as my own personal ideology. Uh, I hope, I'm sorry if that offends you. I was born into Islam and it's, it's just not for me it's just not for me anyway guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section below please like comment subscribe hit the bell because the notifications when i do upload all of that really does help with the algorithm guys and if you'd like to support the channel any further you can donate my paypal and cash app link is in the description down below and you can super thanks and you guys have an amazing beautiful day Bye.